Some temporary relief is on the way to help Wake County EMS cope with its ambulance shortage. FEMA is sending in four ambulances to help beef up the county's fleet. Steve Sprasher joining us now live. And Steve, this is great news. However, more still needs to be done uh, to get things uh, a long term fix in place. Indeed, this is just a stopgap measure. What is being hoped by Wake County EMS is that it'll help put more units like this on the street and also help reduce response times. Wake County tries to run 47 ambulances a day, but with staffing shortages, sometimes that number's much lower, and it's not enough to handle all the calls, which top 10,000 a month. Do you still have units that will sit idle for a shift because there's just nobody to staff them? Yes. Um, we had theoretically over the summer been putting about 10 units a day out of service um, for staffing reasons. There are so many calls that sometimes there are no ambulances on the streets for short periods of time during each day. A Wake EMS staffer who asked we not identify him says it's frustrating. How bad is the staffing shortage now compared to the way it was a couple of years ago? Much worse. Much worse. Um, I've been in the system for, for several years and I've never seen it be worse. On Monday, four ambulances from FEMA will supplement Wake County's fleet. What does two weeks get Wake County? It will certainly decrease the workload of our crews in the streets. That will also help eliminate long response times to non-life-threatening calls like this. There was a, uh, a fall down the stairs in Wendell, uh, and then I had to take a call from downtown Raleigh and then go all the way to Wendell, um, which was a 30-plus minute response time just for us. Our crews are taking a lot of the brunt of the public anger when they've been waiting for 30 minutes for a BLS. Wake County EMS recently hired 25 new staffers from the academy who'll be graduating soon, but it needs long-term solutions. Wake County has also upped its recruiting process, but let's face it, it's going to be a very long process in order to try and get enough people to reduce the staffing shortages. Reporting live, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.